Thanks for staying with us. All right, we are talking disaster, but how to be prepared. Not in a bad way, right? The Army Surplus Warehouse was founded back in 2008 and has become Kentucky's largest Army Surplus store, serving areas in and out of the bluegrass. The owner, James Witt, is here to tell us all about their products and services. Welcome to the show. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much for being yeah. here. Mm -hmm. Now, a lot of us don't want to think about disaster, no. but we should probably be prepared. So what kind of stuff do you offer at the well, we, we have a basic little kid here, and uh, we want to know that you want to be prepared, not scared. So think about what you're getting into a little bit. This whole setup here is right at 100 bucks, and what you get is a case of 24 canned water. Now, canned water is great because it has a 50-year shelf life. In other words, you don't have to rotate it. You put it uh, in your little kit where you're keeping the rest of the stuff. You get a package of meals, which includes 14 different meals, uh, or two of the same all the way through. And uh, basically, that way you can have uh, two meals a day, uh, something different. And uh, choices of meal would be vegetable like lasagna, for instance, beef ravioli, uh, macaroni and uh, beef, that type of thing. So we, it, and then also you get a five-day candle and some Strike Anywhere matches. Oh, so, so this candle will last five days? Yes, it will. Get you through that ice storm we had years ago. So that's what I was going to ask. What kind of disasters are we preparing for? Well, just in general, if ice storm, power outages. Uh, a tor uh, tornado, hurricane, sure. something like that. Any bad weather, uh, as we many, many of us remember the ice storm, and we were down. Several people were down weeks at a time without sure. any electricity, and had to abandon their homes and go elsewhere. And so that really upset a lot of older people when they have to get up and leave their home because they don't have food or water there. And this would be enough to get you through for a week. For that week. Now, this water, we talked about why is it canned over having our plastic bottles? Plastic bottles the, has a shelf life, and that is the, the plastic itself starts to degrade. These are canned, so it has a 50-year shelf life. It's clean. It's 100% clean. The, a lot more people are going away from plastic and going to the cans. So uh, one case of that, a case of meals, the candle, and the matches, good Save your family a lot of grief. Absolutely. You mentioned uh, the food here that mm -hmm. that you have just in case disaster right. does happen. How easy is it to prepare these? Real meals? easy. The, there's a main course, and in the, with the main course, you basically take the bag it comes in, put a chemical uh, thing in it there, and pour some water in it. And it heats it up, scalding hot. It will burn you. Mm -hmm. uh, and basically, so then you've got some crackers, sweets. Uh, and a Tootsie Roll. Yes, and you do. James, you said it's good. Yes, it is. <laughs> All right. Yes, it is. Well, let's talk about disaster. What is it? National Disaster Preparedness Month. That's September. Right. The, the city's been putting up signs around. The uh, city's talking about it a little bit. But everybody, you need to be prepared. I mean, being prepared is not a bad thing. Uh, people, we're not talking about survivalist and, and wannabe people. Sure. We're talking about just your average show. If you were to put a case of water, a case of meals, and the candle and stuff downstairs or underneath the set of stairs and keep it there, the shelf life of this is this is good to 23, but it will last much, much longer if stored in a good situation such as cool and dark. Which is so much better than running to the store as soon as we hear something's going to happen, getting all the milk and bread, which I never right. understand because you're not going to have electricity. <laughs> you actually have decent meals here that you can survive right. off of. Right. Yes, yes, we do. And I can vouch for how good the meals are because a lot of these people use for camping. Mm -hmm. People go camping and they use these things. So I've tried actually a lot of the things that are on the table and I can vouch they are good. All right, so good news there. Mm -hmm. James, let's talk about your actual store, where you're located okay. and what other kind of stuff you offer. We're over on Loudon Avenue on the north side of town. And one nice thing about Loudon Avenue, it has changed drastically in the last couple of years. We have a uh, bike shop, Kentucky for Kentucky, several restaurants in the area. They're redoing the bus station into a, a marketplace. And then the first uh, Friday of every month, spring through fall, we have night market which is uh, vendors come, food trucks come, and that's at the corner of Loudon and uh, Bryan Avenue. So right there, very cool. Mm -hmm. And we don't have much time. I want you to come back on this show because we're going to talk about something as winter starts to hit, our cars and having a kit ready for that as yeah, well. That is a good thing. There's several things that you might want to keep in your car just in case, and we all want to be prepared, not scared. And you offer all of that yes, we do. in your store. So go visit James. He can help you out. Make sure you're ready. And we also didn't even get to talk about it. You have Halloween stuff. Halloween is coming up real, real soon. And we've got a lot of authentic American-made goods for Halloween. Uh, be a soldier, be an airman, be a uh, EMT person, uh, a general, whatever you want to do. And uh, But we've got a lot of that. And then Christmas is a time to visit the uh, store, the gifts for your veterans. 
Uh, we've got pins and patches and you things. You have so been, much. Yes, we so do. So much. Go see James. He's going to help you out. Thank you so much for Thank being you. here. Thanks you for sharing mm, all no of this problem. information. Information, it's crucial. If something were to happen, hopefully it doesn't, but right. we want to be prepared. Right. Well, all right, stay with us. We will be right back. Chef Allison Davis is in the kitchen.